Hey, bud. I think you just ate a chicken. Our shark is literally about to hatch. We got the overhang fully done. That's insane how big he got. Next up on the transfer is my tailless blue tilapia. I'm really feeling these. First fish going in. All right, here we go, these crazy. What is going on, crows? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're starting off here at the barn that's been renovated since the last video. It looks absolutely amazing. We've got the overhang fully done. Still need to trim this off right here, but this will all be painted white. Whatever you see the wood color will be white. The pathway is completely done all the way over to here even. You can see this is where the wash rack is. We have a full pad of concrete, and that's where the wash rack is going to be. There'll be wood on that and also like wood across right here. It just looks so much more like a barn now. Just way better. Hector and his guys are absolutely incredible. I don't know how they do it. I give them mad props. It is like 97 degrees outside. Looks awesome. I love them. Let's go. <laughs> the 120 gallon turtle pond. This has been one of my favorite projects I've ever made since the day we made it. Literally, building this pond was a blast and the turtles, we grew up in this, loved it. As you can see, my Chinese albino soft shell is just paddling around. I love the fact that the turtles have so much space to swim. They got two different basking areas. This pond is just incredible. And it was so easy to build. We literally just built a frame out of wood and then stuck a liner in it. I'm actually very happy with the way this came out. Our filtration's running great. The turtles are happy. We brought all the turtles from the patio over into this pond right here. Look how big he got, dude. That's insane how big he got. Where is my sand? Where is my sand at? I need sand. You're looking good, buddy. Whoa. Ready, right to the sand. Gone. Oh, look at his little head just pop out. He's got a spot. All right, next is our map turtle. My little melanistic turtle. Next up, the three Indian spotteds. We go, we used to have four of these. Unfortunately, one of them didn't make it. But now we have three that have been absolutely kicking it. That one's huge. Exploring his new home. It probably looks a little bit familiar because they had this exact pond, not set up like this, but oh, there he goes. This is awesome. Oh, and we also brought our tailless tilapia that we've been growing since he was like this big. He's getting so big now, we also brought him into this because he lived in this prior. Next up on the transfer is my tailless blue tilapia. I've raised him since he was like an inch long, just for that reason. He had no tail, so I thought it was awesome. Look how he swims. He's like a little football. See ya, bud. So now that you're updated on the 120, I'd say it's time to go get some fish. We need more fish for this. We used to have tetras and all that stuff in this exact pond, but those are now at my mom and dad's house and they're big old beautiful pond in their backyard. If you've been watching the channel for a while, I filmed doing that as well, but it's time to restock this pond right here with some beautiful fish and I think we're gonna switch it up this time. Last time we did random species of tetras, we're now here again and I don't know what we're gonna do. These are really cool, we might have to do more of those. They grew super fast too. I'm really feeling these. A bunch of these little sunburst platies they stand out. They're kind of like goldfish, but they're not. They're way cooler. Some neon tetras back there. Red minor tetras right here. Those are cool. They'll probably stand out. The only problem is fish like that are small where they might get eaten. I don't want them to get eaten. Buenos Aires tetra. You're kind of cool. And these look quicker. These look kind of quick. Dude, they're the price of a platy. African cichlid action. No, we got some of those in the duck pond. We don't need to spend that. Butterflies. Oh, yeah, the yellow one's really dope. I'm gonna do six of these and then six platies. Perfect, thank you so much. It's sunburst platy time. Oh my goodness. We got all the platies. We even added a little a Mickey, which is the darker red one. There he is. Oh, and then we got a bunch of these Buenos Aires Tetras. <laughs> I'm stoked with this. This is awesome. A little little fish trip, nothing crazy. All right, fellas, our total was 33.33. If that ain't weird, I don't know. At least it's not sixes. David, Yo. we got him, baby. Let's go. And it's time to acclimate our new fish. Now, it's nothing crazy. We didn't buy a ton of fish. We did get 13 fish to be exact, but it's gonna create some schooling, and I wanted some sort of fish in here for right now. We're gonna do a lot more cool stuff to this and obviously get more exotic baby turtles. If you have any suggestions on baby turtles we should get, whatever species, it doesn't matter, comment that down below for me and I'll look through these comments and 
get an idea on what I want next. This is my next project that I really want to get done. This 5,500 gallon pond, for some reason I feel like it's bigger than 5,500 gallons. This thing, hopefully I'll have getting done within the next week or so. As you know, the lights are coming for the building as well on the 9th, so that's another thing that's happening. I'm also starting to post on my vlog channel weekly. I have a vlog channel, for those of you who may not know. The link will be down below for that channel. Click it and subscribe. At 100,000 subscribers, I'm gonna be doing a giveaway. So go hit that subscribe button. I'm so close, like literally 20-something thousand away from hitting 100,000 over there. Subscribe to the vlog channel. Weekly videos are coming. I just wanted to let you know. I just posted one yesterday, actually, so go watch that one. I see you, buddy. Oh, 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 you're doing the reverse on me. There's the gold albino. Come on, focus. I gotta get lights and stuff for these tanks. I know it's crazy right now, Kefir. I was like, there's no lights. It, it's all over the place, but I promise you, in just a couple weeks, once the lights get up, totally different building. First fish going in. We got these little beautiful sunburst platies. This is the easiest way to not get the aquarium water from the pet store into your tank. You just kind of pour it like this. Little jumpers. There go. They're so much smaller than I thought when once they actually get into the tank here. But they are very, very cool. And you know how mollies and platies are. They like to breed. So we might have some babies here. All right, here we go. These crazy tetras. Beautiful. They are literally like mini piranhas. All right, here we go. There he goes. Dude, they are so fast. Until they get comfortable and start coming up and eating flakes, they're gonna be like that. And they will get big, because I've owned some of those in the past that literally get like that big. That right there is stocking the 120 with new fish. It is two days later, and I just wanted to walk up to the saltwater tank and show you guys how things are looking. Obviously, I have the white lights on, so you see a little bit more algae than normal. The corals that we put in look amazing. They're growing. Our shark is literally about to hatch. It probably has about like a week left, like realistically, if you could see, let me get the focus. There it is, inside the egg. It is looking ready to go. Literally, Kafaros only has like that much yolk left. And then once the yolk is gone, I'm gonna give it like five days. If it doesn't hatch, we're cutting it out ourselves, and we're gonna film all of that, of course, so make sure you're subscribed. Our blood shrimp is up there. We have all of our fish swimming around as well. It looks amazing. Things are great. Our eel is down there, hey, little zebra. I have yet to make that lid. It's very hard. It's a lot harder than I thought to make. We'll get to it eventually. For now, we have this temporary cover, but I do wanna update you guys on the fish that we just had put in the 120 gallon turtle pond. Lights arrive in like three days, and all this will be lit up. Don't swim away from me, fish. I see you, I see you. A couple platies right there, you can see them. But the more and more days we have these fish and we're feeding these fish, the more comfortable they will get and they'll stay out, just like the other Tetras did. Hey, everyone. It's midday here at the farm, so everyone's kind of just relaxing. Lady May and Mango. Here comes Lady May. Mango, hey, buddy. Of course, all of our goats as well over here. Yes, you can go get your Boots merch right now at PaulFairBrand.com. This guy's got his own merch. You want to eat something? Okay, all right. I know it's unfair that I'm just feeding the goats. And not you, Lady May, but you already ate. And you're on a diet. You're trying to lose some weight. The goats, they make these weird noises. Hello there. <laughs> it's great to see you. Finn is just out here walking around. You're not leaving too much manure behind, are you? Oh, thanks, Finn. You left one over here. This little piggy I rescued the other day is so friendly. He literally just wants to be pet and get belly rubs. Right, bud? Watch. Ready? Three, two, bam! There he goes! Now he gets his belly rubs that he wants. And let me show you what the barn looks like just two days later. The concrete's dry. Obviously, we haven't painted the wood yet, but look at this. Oh, yeah! That right there is what I'm talking about. So much better. The other day I actually headed over to Blake's house. One of my good friends, Blake's Exotic Animal Ranch, has a beautiful farm and he's done so much. Otter enclosures, got big capybaras now, like so much. I love going to Blake's. Hey bud. <laughs> I think you just ate a chicken. Nice. Nope. <laughs> Dude, these capybaras absolutely fascinate me. They are such interesting animals, man. Look at that thing. It is a massive guinea pig. And the feet on them, the feet on these capybaras are just amazing. These things have a full trend behind them. That is honestly the coolest animal ever, though. Should I get a capybara for the farm? That would be so cool. They do require a class three license, though, so. Capybara, capybara, cafaro, cafaro. Same as my last name, it goes either way. Look at this. Yeah, right? Oh my goodness, it's so much different. It's a jungle in here. It's been months and months and months that I've been to Blake's house, and he's done a lot. This is, uh, this is definitely one of my biggest 
projects, but it's a lot of work because it's a lot of maintaining. Lot. Look at that. What is that? Paul! What? Ah! Uh, Thanks for coming along for my iPhone uh, tour here at Blake's. Look at the freaking colors on that's that a thing. Big mail that's right there. I brought my camera, forgot my SD card, so we're just filming all this fun on here. Now, Blake has a big building just like myself. I haven't been inside this in months. I have no idea what it looks like. We're gonna find out together. Your ceilings are so much higher than mine. So we can't film behind this wall. No. All right, you're gonna have to look on Blake's channel for all that. <gasps> Good Lord. Wow. This is epic. If you guys remember me telling you, I actually got myself a Fly River turtle. I already paid for my Fly River everything. It's mine. I just gotta wait till I build something for it in my fish building. Hey, buddy. Hey, little deer. Oh my goodness, you are so cute. Oh, you're cute. That was great footage. Dude, last time they didn't even let us go near them. Yeah, they're chilling now. They're full size. Much better. They're awesome. Guess what's on the other side of this building? The otter enclosure. My dream animal that I might not be able to get now with FWC's new laws, but still, the otter. Holy moly. So this is the building. Wow. Yo. There's a freaking viewing panel. Inside here is the otter building as you can see it has marble floors and that's where they sleep at night that's that's awesome this is gold this is this is gold boys and girls hey hey buddy thank you all so much for watching hopefully you enjoyed we got some new fish for the 120 gallon turtle pond and of course updated you on everything else we have so much more to come subscribe down below so you don't miss anything smash that like button down below let's see if we can get 20,000 likes and remember if you subscribe to my vlog channel we hit 100,000 subs we are doing a big giveaway check out the merch top link in the description this is one of the new logos and there's so much more new stuff on there pulpforbrand.com i'll see you in the next video peace